What's going on, everybody? So, start of the mail week video, as always. I don't think I have anything coming in tomorrow, being Saturday, so this might be the only part of the video, to be honest. Um, I'll check the mail, though, tomorrow, because I have something to mail out that's in here. But a lot of this stuff uh, either came from, like, two weeks ago's Golden's Auctions, or three weeks ago, and then some other pickups that I had. There are football cards, Wildcat. No kidding, I got football cards this time. Starting off, NT to a little disgusting patch there from NT. I believe this was out of 99. It's total 25 out of 25. I lied. And it's not worn any specific game or event. But still, Tua, pretty hot right now. We'll see what happens. Up next, this was from Golden Auctions Week 1 that I did, my own first week. So pick this up before he became the first 40-70 man out there. This was going for around 2 or 250 And I know I picked it up dirt cheap on Golden. Now granted, you gotta still pay 22% commission, but still dirt cheap. Up next, a uh, pickup from our Zooms. Topps Dynasty, Mike Piazza. Look at that disgusting patch. It's out 10, I believe. Yep, out of 10. I think it goes around 160, 190 mark, somewhere around there. I haven't looked any of this stuff up yet. It just came in. Now, everything else actually came in the mail today. We'll start off. There was two cards. This is the first of two. Jalen Hurts, yellow, I guess, flood or whatever you're calling it, press proof. I'll take a look at it, see if it's good to be great. If not, DC Sports Bound, it will go. Then we got a Jalen Hurts. This is the first off the line out of seven. Oklahoma Sooners. I believe this was from 2020, so this should be rookie year. Oh, it is. I didn't see. There's the rookie card. My bad. I can't remember the price on this. I think we thought it was around 250 I could be off on some of this stuff. All right, this one, Wildcat, you got to love. Tops. Randy Moss, Rookie Auto. Pretty sure it's Rookie, 99. If it's not Rookie, it's second year, but I'm pretty sure it's Rookie year. No, it might be second year, second year. But still, this goes for 175 Pretty cool, I'll look it over. It might be a gradable card down the road. Up next, another pickup on our Zooms. Prestine, another Akuna. Good time getting Akuna stuff right now. This I probably will grade because a lot of this stuff here, even though it's a die cut, does really, really well for me that comes out of Prestine. But I think I'm going to end up grading the Akuna. So we'll see how that goes. Last two cards, they're baseball. The first one I picked up for Joey, good old uh, Bullpen, aka CBC. This was off a of golden out of 90. Topps Gilded Collection, Jim Tomei, uh, Gold Framed Hall of Fame Auto, PSA 10. I think he got this for about two thirds of what I think the value is on to it, so not bad there. And that's with all the um, buyer's stuff, premium. Finally, we got another cut auto. PSA 10 from Diamond Icons. These are actually numbered out of four. If I can get the show there. It's in the plastic area. It sucks, I know. There it comes. All right, four out of four. Well, even though he has a... Wow. <laughs> now I just screwed the focus up completely. Well, I really screwed up that focus, didn't I? There we go. <laughs> Diamond Icons Warren Spawn. There's a check and all that stuff, but a little pricier product. These raw do 200 Being uh, out of four, it'll probably push it up in value onto it and stuff, in my opinion. But just a little PC piece for me. I couldn't pass it up being a PSA 10 and it's a cut auto. I mean, i just drawn to it, you know? But that is it for Mail Week. Uh, as always, a lot of stuff coming in, a lot of stuff coming out all the time. Uh, I know everybody, I always get asked some questions. I'll just put my hand up here real quick, just get the focus back, because it's bothering me. It's still bothering me, but I'll go like that or something. 
But uh, I'm I'm not doing the Lexington show that's this weekend. I thought about driving out to it, and I'm just not down for an hour 45 one way and an hour and 45 back. Because realistically, I could go to almost Indy, and I think I'd get better deals in Indianapolis than I would out of that Lexington show anymore. I mean, there's some nice cards down there, don't get me wrong. It's just the people overpriced that I just don't have the tire patience anymore to really just, you know, I don't want to say the word haggling, but just trying to get them to realize what the value is of the card versus what's like, you know, whatever their thought process is of adding way, way overpriced stuff to it. Uh, but my next show will not be until the 14th. I'm going to go out to Salem, Indiana. They are doing their Halloween trick or treat out there. Bring your kids out to the fairgrounds. So I will be out at that one, not set up, but as a buyer, and then the following week, of course, JJ All Stars, which will put us through the month of October. And then it'll be November. I'll be set it back up in the Derby City. I don't have the date, but I'll find it for you guys. But that is it for me. Um, got some Zim Zim going on tonight and tomorrow night. Gonna get some stuff done. So, as I'm recording this, getting closer to that government shutdown. See what happens. I think it's going to shut down. Could be wrong, but I think it's going to shut down this time. All right, guys. You take care of a good, safe one. Y'all need me. You know how to get in touch with me. See ya.